Welcome everyone, today we will look back at the 1966 American TV series, Batman. We will take another look at the cast of the TV series and will find out what happened to them. I am also going to inform you of some intriguing facts about the show that you may not have been aware of, so let's get started. Adam West died at the age of 89 years in 2017 from leukemia. Burt Ward was 20 years in 1966 and is 77 years old in 2023. When Burgess Meredith took on the role of the Penguin, he hadn't lit up a cigarette in two decades. To replicate the Penguin's recognizable squawk, he utilized the irritation in his throat caused by smoking. Additionally, the penguin's waddle was an ad lib, Meredith found it hard to remain upright and walk in a straight line while wearing the fat suit that was a component of his costume, which had rubber padding. Alan Napier died at the age of 86 years in 1988 from stroke. Neil Hamilton died at the age of 85 years in 1984 from asthma. When ABC decided not to continue airing the show, the producers waited to see if any other network wanted it. When it seemed like there were no takers, they destroyed the Batcave set. However, two weeks later NBC offered to revive the program, not knowing the set had already been dismantled. As they didn't want to spend the money to reconstruct the set, NBC withdrew their offer. Stafford Rep died at the age of 57 years in 1974 from heart attack. Madge Blake died at the age of 70 years in 1969 from cardiac arrest. Robin has 352 different expressions that range from holy agility to holy zorro. Yvonne Craig died at the age of 78 years in 2015 from breast cancer. Cesar Romero died at the age of 87 years in 1994 from a blood clot stemming. This show had the worst audience test scores ever recorded by ABC, but it was broadcast anyway due to the large amount of money that had been put into it. Burgess Meredith died at the age of 90 years in 1997 from melanoma and Alzheimer's disease. Julie Newmar was 32 years in 1966 and is 89 years old in 2023. Burt Ward has reported being injured on multiple occasions, with burns and shrapnel wounds resulting from misfiring pyrotechnic effects. He also stated that at least once, he was thrown out of the Batmobile after the door opened unexpectedly during a sharp turn. Byron Keith died at the age of 78 years in 1996 from pancreatic cancer. Frank Gorshin died at the age of 72 years in 2005 from lung cancer. Mr. Zero was given the new moniker of Mr. Freeze in this series, which eventually became canon in the comics. Victor Buono died at the age of 44 years in 1982 from heart attack. David Lewis died at the age of 84 years in 2000 from after a long illness. The comics portrayed the Riddler as a minor villain, yet this show has made him one of the most beloved adversaries of Batman. Vincent Price died at the age of 82 years in 1993 from lung cancer and emphysema. And Baxter died at the age of 63 years in 1985 from brain aneurysm. The bust of Shakespeare, which was used to open the bookcase and reveal the bat poles, had an electric switch that could not open the bookcase but did turn on a light at the back of the set, thereby informing the crew to slide it open. 
Richard Bacallion died at the age of 84 years in 2015 from cerebral hemorrhage. Carolyn Jones died at the age of 53 years in 1983 from colon cancer. The footage of the Batmobile exiting the Batcave was filmed at Bronson Cavern in Hollywood Hills. Its width was roughly comparable to the width of the cave entrance. In order to stop the car from damaging the fenders, the camera was filmed at a slower speed and then the footage was speeded up. Estelle Winwood died at the age of 101 years in 1984 from natural causes. Joe E. Tata was 29 years in 1966 and is 86 years old in 2023. Decades after the show had finished, Cesar Romero asserted that his frequent execution of the Joker's laugh had forever changed his own laugh. Eartha Kitt died at the age of 82 years in 2008 from colon cancer. David Wayne died at the age of 81 years in 1995 from lung cancer. The Batcave set was erected on the same spot where the Skull Island Gate had been situated in King Kong. This was mentioned by a guest to the set who had operated as a technician on the movie, Kong. The gate had already been demolished, being set alight to imitate the burning of Atlanta during the shooting of Gone with the Wind. Milton Burley died at the age of 94 years in 2002 from colon cancer. At the start of the series, Alfred had supposedly been eliminated a few years earlier in the comic book series. But when the producers declared their plan to make Alfred a regular character, he was reanimated in the comic book as well. <laughs>